Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are going to jump in again. Last time we played as what the hell? Hello. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's part of a, a new update to a mod. Anyhow, we're going to play as Tainted Zack in this episode. We showed him in the showcase and of course we played as Zack in the previous episode. But now that they're added to the regular series, I thought we'd play as him. This guy's a pretty interesting character. This is He's kind of similar to the normal guy. But for one, he's a little more strong because he has this little electric green eye ability. Which I've only just realised, by the way, in the actual episode I was recording of this character showcase, I didn't even make the connection. But the whole idea of this is that he is the green-eyed monster, which is um, essentially like... Greed, I believe it is. Um, but anyways, yeah, so essentially he gets these little shards every single room. You can see we just gained a green shard. By the way, this room is something else. Hopefully we can survive it. But yeah, so we get these green shards every room. These green shards increase our power, but the more of them that we hold... Oh, they also increase our luck as well. But the more of them we hold, the more dangerous it becomes. Did I just get hurt by my own green laser then? Is that a thing? Oh my god, I am taking some bad damage right now. I am backing myself into a corner as well, which is not good. Um, Die, sir. There you go. Uh, yeah, so we get all these, these gems, but if we kind of, like, have too many of them, they can crack and cause some serious bodily harm to us. So we've got to be careful that we don't uh, overdo it. We don't want to hold on to too many gems at once. We did just get a sinus infection, by the way, which is very good. But as you can see, up to four. They change colour as they progress, so you can tell how dangerous things are getting. At the minute, we're at a relatively safe level. We're still on green. Normally, once it gets into the orange, I like to uh, change it over. So we'll probably do this room and then the boss room and uh, leave it. Okay. Hopefully, I was about to say, we can save a bomb here. So now we're at the orange. I'll pop myself in here because we've got three bombs. And we'll see what's what. Oh, we did get an enemy in here. Okay, that's fine. That's a dirty bedroom, fortunately, so nothing really to garner. And then on the next room we complete, our yellow gems will turn red. And if we get any further than the red gems, we're going to take some seriously heavy damage. Another thing as well is snake eyes are going to remove those gems, uh, set us back to default. But there is a little bit of a caveat. When you do that, you um, spawn more and more enemies based on the amount of gems you get rid of at once. So... Having a full suite of gems and getting rid of all of them at once can be a little dangerous. It's kind of a hard pin fight. He's doing a lot of weird stuff. He's not really functioning the way he normally does, but he's almost dead, so it's fine. There you go. So we're at red now, as you can see. So then we pop snake eyes. It spawns a bunch of enemies. Um, on the earlier floors, it spawns less, I believe. And I think it spawns enemies based on the floor that you are on. Uh, we'll try and go mother this time. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm kind of feeling it. I think we did do mother... Um, we did do Mother when we were playing our uh, showcase, but we'll see. Uh, as you can see as well, with the with the green lasers, we basically don't have to focus all that much on actually trying to um, actually trying to hit the enemy. We can we can go into the encyclopedia and have a look at like characters and stuff. So we can take a look at all characters. Um, I think we got to go back to the modded characters. Yet yeah, there you go. Look, you can have a look at different modded characters to see where your progression stands with each one of them. We do also need to do one thing really quickly. I just need to enter a code into my console to unlock some stuff from a mod. 27616. And this says awesome. It just unlocks some stuff from a mod that's currently in beta uh, that I want to be able to show off the stuff, so I'm going to unlock it early. Anyways, let's go down to the downpour and carry on forwards see what's what. But I think this is a pretty good start so far. Of course, PJ's early is, is pretty darn good. Um, Lusty Blood is also very good. Lusty Blood? I didn't even realize Lusty's Blood had a respray in the pack that I'm using. But yeah, Lusty Blood's going to be really nice for us. Um, Sinus Infection's, of course, going to be incredible. Ooh, that was a very good hit by that dude there. Well done to you, I guess. And we just got to be careful of our gems. It's one of those things where it's not that big of a deal. It doesn't really change the run too much. But you, you've, you've got to have it at least in the back of your mind. Because if you if you forget about it for a brief moment, it can kind of mess you up. Uh, but yeah, if we like Snake Eyes here, we can see it spawns like less and weaker enemies. It's not as big of a deal. So it, it just kind of depends on on how, how risky you're okay with being here. Ow. That guy hit me twice there. That's... That was too much. <laughs> I already lost a full soul heart on this floor. Let's go back and get that bomb that I forgot over there. In fact, I think what I might do is uh, go over and get some of these keys as well, because we don't have any right now. 
So, I don't think there's any way for us to get multiple keys, but we can probably get this bomb as well as a key. Yeah, there you go. And I'll take the pill. This character's a bit of a gambler, so why not? Both the, the Zack characters have some gambling to them. Unfortunately, I don't think we have completion marks for this character without the external mod, which I don't currently have enabled. But we do need to unlock stuff for this character. There is unlocks for him, and I at least I don't know of a cheat code to unlock them. Um, which I normally use, and um, some of you may be thinking, well, isn't that, like, defeats the purpose? But, main reason I do it is, for one, I don't have as much time to play Isaac, and you may be, you may be thinking, dumbass, don't you play it every day? Yeah, I do, but I mean, I don't, like, have spare time to go and unlock stuff. Like, I only play a one run a day, typically, sometimes less if I've got a backlog. Um, so, it's not like it, ta it, like, it could take me quite a while to unlock things. But also, um, on top of that... I, I prefer to have things unlocked from the get-go so that I can give uh, a more meaningful showcase of the uh, of the mod. I think that's more enjoyable for people. I get, people get to see the unlocks and stuff like that. There you go. Bugatiers are doing fantastically right now. We'll take Marrow. I don't know what health we're on, but we're on okay HP. I'm pretty sure, so I will take a Devil Deal. We do have the... Abyssal Bombs plus five bombs plus Locust Blasts. So that sounds kind of interesting. I like the idea of that. That's a new uh, a new item. I'm not sure what mod that's from. I'll have a little look, maybe. Oopsie, not that. Uh, do, 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 do. Encyclopedia. Inventory. This is from Ipecac. This is a new one from Ipecac. Cool. I think that could be pretty damn useful, actually. I think um, having the ability to spawn some Locusts with, uh, with bombs... Is, a, is pretty powerful, especially if you get, like, the explosive locusts, things like that. Also, just plus five bombs is, is pretty damn, um, damn useful for us right now. I'm actually going to use the, the default room here, but I'll do that. But yeah, we unfortunately don't have any normal red health anymore. Also, see, not always getting enemies. Sometimes you can get some other stuff from those portals. They're not always bad. Got ourselves a judgment. I'm just going to pop you there. Really should take out the, uh, the throw-up guy. Says, Dude, that guy hit me? Wow. I, I really wish there was a, a mod out there just to remove these water things. You, I got hit again? I am playing bad right now. Wow. Um, do you know these, these like, dripping water things, like the one that I'm stood under right now? I wish there was a mod that just removed all of those from the downpour. Because it's like, I understand that they're, they're there for, like, atmospheric reasons. And it's like, it is nice to have them. But goddamn, in modding, they just introduce so much lag. And while you're at it, remove the um, the overlays from the uh, chase sequence for Knife Piece 2 as well. Because that is also really laggy. So, like, this this looks like a secret room here. Let's try this out and we'll see what... Uh... Yeah, there you go. We got three Locusts. It's, it, it didn't say how many Locusts we're going to get pair blast. I don't know if it's always going to be three. Three dollar bill. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know if it's always going to be um, going to be three or if it's going to be a, a random amount per blast. But I'm pretty happy with it. It seems like a really cool idea for an item. I do wish the bombs had unique sprites, I will say, but that is not a hard requirement. I'm still just happy that we have the item. But a unique sprite for the actual bomb itself would be pretty cool. That always adds to the effect, I think. But that's kind of secondary, especially for Ipecac. Ipecac's a mod that kind of goes for function over form um, a lot of the time and doesn't really have many costumes for their mods. Their items don't have that many costumes, but the, the actual content itself is... Usually very good. So I, I can't complain too much. Hoping we don't lose our burn heart here. But honestly, based on the amount I've been getting hit, I'm not going to say it's super likely that we won't. <laughs> I've been getting hit loads. Oh god. Oh god. Hard room. Grab that real quick. Good, good, good. It's better to use our snake eyes after defeating a room while in the same room so we keep our lusty blood damage bonus. Dude, that leech just absolutely Tokyo drifted. But yes, I'm forgetting about the question of the day today. Um, so I'm going to ask it. Oh my god. I, I may have asked this before. Apologies if I have. What is your favorite sweet? Because I've just been out and bought a bunch of sweets. Me and my girlfriend um, basically have like one day a week where we just pig out. Because we, we try to eat reasonably healthy for the most part. So we have like one day a week and it kind of motivates us to um, to eat better. Because we know that one once a week we're going to get the ability to... I'll take that. We're going to get the ability to um, just absolutely pig out. So we just went and bought our, um, our sweets. I'm going to buy stopwatch here. I'm also going to bomb this just for the one cent that I need. Whoa. That gave us a hell of a lot more than I was expecting. Okay. But then again, the white ones always spawn in threes, don't they? So that's fair enough. 
Um, yeah, I very much wanted the, the heart there. Anyways, let's keep on moving. I'm very happy to have stopwatch here. I, th I t tend to get stopwatch quite a lot. I realize it's quite powerful, but I'm never going to not take it. Also, did you just telefrag me, sir? Did you just actually telefrag me? Is that is that for real? This is for real. I've also locked... Oh, no. I've locked myself in a terrible position here where I've like only got like half the screen to work with now. It's okay, though. He died pretty quick. We have a piece of cheese. Rather nice. And honestly, another devil deal. Let's just go for it. Oh, the little fella again. He's back. Damage up every time you get hit. Bl Bloody Lust would go well with our Lusty Blood, but I think Tiny Horn is, is a must take. Tiny Horn is the cutest little lad you've ever done seen. We were gonna go to, um, to Mother, but I forgot. <laughs> I always forget. Oh, this room. Ooh, this room is, uh, it's something. It's certainly something. Right. Good, good. 2020. Holy hell, this run's good. This run is good. Obviously, we now kind of need a damage up pretty bad, but Lusty Blood is going to handle our damage ups for the most part, so I don't really mind. I wonder if we fire more electricity with these more shots. I wonder if it arc. It seems to be arcing more, definitely. But yeah, uh, t Tiny Horn here. He just kind of skips around. Uh, shot speed up, nice. He just kind of skips around and fires these little black balls that um, hurt him towards enemies. One great thing about the enemies that spawn, by the way, as you can see, is they do spawn as champions, and the champions can drop things. Speed down, unfortunately. Reroll that. Just reroll into a regular heart. D20 is kind of one that we probably won't get too much use out of throughout the course of the run, but it's good to have nonetheless. We are, I was just about to say, we are taking some damage here. Luckily, it was only half a soul heart, though. Oh god, oh god. And as well, you'll see that sometimes these green portals just spawn randomly. I'm not actually sure what the cause of that is. I'm not sure if there's a specific trigger for that. But it does happen. Slightly awkward chest to grab. Yep, I knew I was going to get hit there. I'll check in here. It's a one room. I, I really don't think I can go for a one room right now. I think I will take this and then re-roll the rest. I'm going to wait until I have enough charge. I picked up a coin by accident. God damn it. Not intended behavior. Carry on back this way. Oh, health is looking a bit bad right now. I do like the way Little Horn, like, doesn't face us <laughs> when he's following us sometimes. It's like he's just along for the ride. We're just dragging him along. Slightly difficult room here, just uh, based on, like, the webbing and stuff. Also, these enemies are like, just don't actually try to seek you out in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> so, they're just like, all over the room and they're really hard to find sometimes. Yeah. We'll get that stuff in a sec. Which we'll do another room, then come back. Good, good. Right, now we've got our D20 available. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Shop this floor could end up being very valuable. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what we want from the D20. Obviously, getting chests and stuff is always going to be good. That's pretty good. We can't, unfortunately, get that other key, though, unless we want to bomb it. Which, honestly, with the amount of bombs I have and the fact that I'm going to get locusts from them is a pretty good idea. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. That's, that's another good thing as well, actually. I feel a bit less guilty about using bombs for trivial stuff like that. Just, like, bombing a key from out somewhere. Because I'm getting an additional benefit of getting these locusts. We've actually got, like... As long as we get, like, a decent amount of bombs, which so far we have been, we've got a pretty constant flow in our run of Locusts, which is very strong. Locusts are, like, can do up to four times your damage to an enemy. It's very good. And then there's obviously the status effects they apply on top of that. But like that there, normally I wouldn't be bothered with that. Bombing slot machines will make them drop four times the normal payouts. But that's the second item we've got from one of those chests. Nice. Also, we'll pop snake eyes in here, actually. And as you can see, some of the portals are popping out more than one enemy at a time. So if we bomb this, we should get a lot more payouts. That we did. We also got ourselves a unique heart here, and I'm not sure which one it is. But do you do you pay out more as well? Oh, I'd really hope you pay out with just a ton of spiders. Yeah, I got myself a, a unique type of heart here. I think it's an immortal heart. I'm not sure, though. 
By the way, I do realize that basically all of the custom hearts that we have installed from, from the various mods essentially just serve to make the game easier. I understand that. And I'm kind of okay with it. I don't want the runs to be really easy, but at the same time, I'm, I'm mostly okay with it. I am looking into um, a few mods to make the game harder, though. There's uh, a few different mods that add, like, harder varieties of enemies, like Eternal Champions, and um, harder boss patterns, stuff like that. So I'm maybe looking into them to sort of off-balance the extra power that we've been getting um, from run to run. I don't know how people would feel about that, but that's something I've been considering. Eternal Champions is one that I like the idea of, but I wish there was a way to stop Eternal Champions appearing early on. Because I feel like early game Eternal Champions are an absolute death sentence. And then the Eternal Champion bosses are a bit like... They're interesting. I just I wouldn't want a run to end to an Eternal Champion when I felt like it was kind of bullshit. Because that would just annoy me and probably you guys watching as well. I wouldn't want that. Okay, so... I think it is an eternal heart here, because as you can see, we're at half a heart. When we go to the next room, I think it'll refill. Either that or when we complete the next room, it'll refill. Okay, it seems to be when you complete the next room, okay. Good, good. There you go, look, it refilled, nice. Okay. I was like, why is, that, why is everything moving so slowly? The game's really laggy. And I'm like, no, it's not. I've just got stopwatch. You fool. Also, just do that in here, see what we get. A bomb there. Double bomb here, why not then? Oh, Dom, it got me. You cheeky bastard. It got me. But don't worry, if we complete this room without losing our eternal heart, we get it back. Nice. Immortal Hearts are super good in the early floors. Super, super good. In the late floors, not as good. But in the early floors, they are insane. Or at least can be. Oh, do you see how close that was? Bit of a weird room there. Just some spikes over a gap. Like, literally, you can only get there if you have flight. And if you have flight, the spikes can't hit you. A little bit strange. Ooh, now this is an item I will take. If we can manage to make it uh, pop... We get ourselves some good stuff going on here. We're going to pop Snake Eyes after this room here. Oh, that one's just spawned a troll bomb. Okay. Makes our life easy if you're going to kill the enemies for me, I guess. But yeah, the Rubik's Cube here, essentially, we use it. It does nothing, but it has a chance to solve. Once it solves, it becomes the Magic Cube, which is a D6 that can re-roll into any item pool. And it has a four-room charge. It's very strong. But it can take quite a while for it to proc. And obviously, for the entire time, it's a completely useless item that occupies your space bar slot. We've got Cube of Rot here for free. I'll take that. I will take a free Cube of Rot, thank you. Get this dude. There's still some enemies left in this room, apparently. I don't know where they are. The darkness is kind of throwing me off a little bit, actually. Still no solve. Mysterious gift here is, of course, something we want. Um, I'll buy it. And then let me keep re-rolling. Nah. I'll buy a soul heart. Why not? Keep going. Jumper cables. That's very good for us right now. And then we'll just buy a battery and use it again. Okay, let's grab this and try and find a secret room real quick. There's a few different places it could be. Of course, leading example be right here. Not right there. Uh, da -da -da -da. Not there. Could potentially be off of this room. This is a little bit of a hard room here, so let's be careful. I love the tiny, tiny horns stuff going on. It's so good. Like here, right? No, it's not there. Kind of a tough one, actually. Could be here. Not there. Hmm. 
technically... A... I've got a lot of bombs and I'm getting locusts for all of this, so I don't really mind. But it is a little fishy that I haven't found it yet. Hmm. Could be... Here, maybe? What the hell? Where is it? Very confused. Go, oh, my fly army. Right, good, good. Ow, I didn't, I thought it wasn't active when the room ended. God damn it. Okay, these guys are a bit annoying, but they take out pretty quick. There we go. We found it. Take you out real quick. Our damage is actually not that great <laughs> without uh, killing enemies. We get our self mystery bag. God damn it. By the way, this is my own fault. So. If, if for those of you that don't know already, I tend to do quite a lot of tweaking and editing of mods to balance them to my liking. And Mystery Bag used to be an item that was in the boss pool. And I, I always found that really strange and a bit a bit odd because it's not a great item and it was, just wasn't a very fitting pool. So I decided to remove some of the other supposedly bad items. Um, yeah, I removed, removed some of the other supposedly bad items from the from the secret room pool and added in the mystery bag to the secret pool and removed it from the boss pool. So, not a great item to get as a secret room item, but I did it to myself. But I think, at least personally, it's much more fitting as a bad secret room item. Because the secret rooms do have a good amount of bad items. Um, I mean, they kind of need to, to balance them. And I feel like, uh, like at least that decision was a decent way... And a decent, like, it, it fits quite well in a decent way of adding in a bad item to the secret room and, and removing at least an item that I consider to not fit very well from the boss pool. Obviously, people can agree with me all they want, but the thing is, this isn't part of the vanilla mod. This is my own sort of personal mix, my own personal flavor. So, really, it doesn't matter. Also, let's make sure I'm go there to go back and get our cube because we don't have that right now. I just forgot about that. We can also actually, uh... Crack this open and quickly grab these. Then we can grab that. Do a bombing of that. A lot more money there than I was expecting. I'll grab that. I'll grab that. And away we go. Shops are so powerful in Repentance. God damn, they're so strong. So, so strong. This Immortal Heart is kind of carrying us. The Immortal Hearts are hella strong. I, I, like, a lot of these things I only really have installed because they're interesting and, like, add a bit of flavor to the run. Even though they do make the game easier, it's just that they have a lot of flavor to them, and I like that. If I was just, if I was playing the game sort of more for just, like, my own style and stuff, the certain ones of these I probably wouldn't have on just because they are a little bit strong. Just go down. Right. A slightly bony room here. I love having enemies like this on the on them floors. Open this bad boy up. Ayo. Some pretty good reward out of that. Black rune. I don't know, black rune. I don't know. Ah, shit. Still haven't solved our Rubik's Cube yet, though, which is surprising. We've hit, we've procced it, like, I think on the 20th use, it guarantees a solve. But still, also, we're going to get a few solves in this room, so make sure to, uh, a few charges, sorry, so make sure to try and solve it in this room. Keep using it. Because there's a lot of enemies in there. Still no solve. Do you know what? I'm sorry, Immortal Heart. It's time for you to go. I wanted the extra charges. I'm not moving. I am not moving, sir. Ooh, got some 
dicey diceys here. Loaded dice. I don't think loaded dice is too good for us right now. They give plus 10 luck. Imagine finding one of them with rock bottom. Ooh, baby. They only give plus 10 luck for one room, but... They're pretty interesting. I like the idea behind them. But they're just... They're a little niche. But that's good. That's fine. It's fine for consumables to be niche sometimes. Ow, I walked right into those spikes. Let's carry on. Let's go, let's go. But yeah, as I, I, I'll kind of get back to the, like, I won't say story, but what I was talking about earlier about having, like, a snack food day. I don't know how many other people out there have, like, their favorite snack or have, like, a snack food day. But yeah, me and my girlfriend have kind of really gotten into it recently because we've, like I said, started dieting, trying to just lose the COVID weight. Because as everyone knows, while you're in lockdown, you just eat shit and put on a lot of weight. So... As we both did, we're deciding, like, let's try and take control of that a little bit at least. Still haven't solved it, damn. Try to take control of that a little bit and uh, find a good way. And I think I'm a really good motivator for us is having one day a week we're allowed to binge. So we, we And also, it's just nice because, um, especially my girlfriend works, like, a lot um, and has a lot of late nights during the week, which means that, obviously, we don't spend a lot of time together during the week, which means that on a weekend or, like, on a day off that we both have, we just have a day. What is this? Doubles all trinket spawns, gulps the current trinket every second floor. That is a very cool item. Although, I, I'm very confused by the sprite. What, what is it meant to be? It says toy plane, but it... I, I, I can't tell. It doesn't look like a toy plane to me. Um, any, anyways, really cool item. I, anything that's like trinket smelting or more trinkets is going to be cool. But this one's kind of interesting, actually. I remember um, Blazy, the creator of this mod, was actually asking um, me and a few others in my Discord about balancing this item before it was actually made. Um, spawns two batteries. The Magus. Pretty good. Still hasn't solved. Are you kidding me? Um, yeah, they were asking me about the balance of this. And I think they've reached a good point. Like, you get more trinket spawns like you do with the smelter. But... You only get to smelt one of them every two floors, so you can potentially just get some really good trinkets and find some really good trinkets, but you can't actually keep them all. Sometimes you're going to have to make a choice. Also, that was kind of bullshit. Also, that didn't... Are you serious? Didn't bomb it? Still hasn't solved. Thank you. Nice one, thank you. Okay. Unfortunately, our, uh, our locusts here just go face first into these dudes despite them not taking damage. Right. There we go. It finally, it finally solves. But I think that was on the 20th use. I think it took all its power to solve there. We'll get some charges for it here, though, which is nice. Oh, we got half soul heart in there, apparently. Nice. God damn, we have been on full health for a while. This is what I mean, though. Like, modded, modded Isaac, you just get very strong. Like, I've got some good items in here, no doubt. Like, obviously, $3 bill, um, PJ, Sinus Infection, Lusty Blood. They've all been pretty important in a victory here. But I've also been getting a lot of good drops that have been giving us a lot of HP. Good, good. Take that. So, for example, if this is bad, which it, it's not bad, but it's not something we want, we can re-roll it, and it re-rolls into something from any pool. And I quite like the Haunted Rose, so I shall take it. Uh, also, do you know what? Why not? Why don't I go back in here and uh, black rune the uh, the thingy piece? Do we have ghost bombs? Oh, no. Yeah, there you go. Um, your bombs have a chance to be ghost bombs Where, uh, with the Haunted Rose. Not a guarantee, but just a chance. You are taken care of. Oh god, the, the, the science infection things are zapping you constantly. And then we can black rune that for some stats. We'll snake eyes in here as well, why not? I do think this character could be done to made a, to be could do to be made a little bit tougher. He, as for a tainted character, I know that not all of them are supposed to be hard. Um But it could do to be a little tougher. Just with the amount of enemies spawned and stuff like that. And it could be due to be, like, a few more penalties for ha for holding too many gems and stuff like that. 
There's a few different balance changes I do, but overall, I really like the design of Zack. I think Zack's got a really cool character design. Right. At the minute, we're just stomping through. Ow. Blanking on hits quite nice. I love the fact that we use the actual sound effect from Gungeon 2. Ow. That's a lot of ghosts as well. Holy hell. A lot of stuff going on in here. It's a lot of keys. Holy hell. Ow. I lost so much health to this room. <laughs> I just kept walking into everything. It's okay. We should be fine. I got hit like three times in that room to essentially nothing. Big pill. Ah, damn it. That's no good. Ooh, these guys could be a little problematic, actually. Let's be careful. You are easy. Cardboard box. Open it up. Get a sack. I like the cardboard boxes. They're just like weaker chests. I don't know if they have the like special drops or anything, though. I don't know if they have an item pool. I don't think they do. Wouldn't really make sense for them to, to be honest. Oh, this guy's a champion. He's very healthy. Good, good. Got some teeth shots in there as well. Oh, but yeah. I, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm, I'm like really looking forward to having my uh, my sweet days. We're gonna watch the Toy Story films as well because somehow. My girlfriend, despite being 25, has only seen Toy Story 1, which I find utterly bizarre. Like, the other day, I made a, I made a joke about, like, the claw. Um, you know, the little aliens that uh, that live in the claw machine. <laughs> I made a joke about that, and she was like, what are you on about? I was like, what? What the hell? Like, I know that some of you that are younger probably won't have seen all the Toy Story films, but people at my age, everyone should have seen the Toy Story films. It's bizarre that you haven't. So I was like, what the hell? How? <laughs> Did you watch films as a child? <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna watch a few of them this weekend. Just because they're they're actually genuinely still very good watches even as an adult. I was very confused what happened for a moment there. Squeezy's very nice for us. Thank you for standing directly in the way of that. Ow, my god, we got a lot of ghosts going on right now, but god damn, I'm gonna reroll again. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happier with that. Keep her going. I am losing a lot of HP, but we're doing okay nonetheless. Also, we can bomb this. We gulped our trinket, so holy shit, we even got a zealot heart from that bad boy too. Although, I very highly doubt we'll be keeping that zealot heart. We've been losing pretty much everything we earn very rapidly all the time. All of the hearts have just been going. Rooms like this are a bit crazy where they have like multiple different segments with loads of different enemy types. But I don't know if they're vanilla or modded, but I actually quite like them. I think they fit quite well. Only thing about teleporting to the um, thingy room here, secret rooms, I don't really know where I'm going anymore. I think this way is right, but I'm, I'm kind of gambling. Oh, cool. Nice one. It is this way. Ow. Got hit again. There goes my zealot heart. I told you it'd go. Oh, we got a... Got a new heart there. I want to see what that one does. It's hopping around. Uh, Hala heart. Um, it spawns a leprosy orbital on pickup. Okay, we can only pick it up when we're not at full HP. Okay. Good, good. And just get as many booger tears on her as we possibly can, and you're uh, you're gonna, you're gonna go down pretty quick. Just look at that like. It's like a tumorous mass just stuck on the side of a goddamn. And we're going to go up. I don't want to go to Hush. If I had more health, I'd be pretty confident. But unfortunately, we've been taking hits like crazy. I'm just not very confident about that at all. Let's keep a move in. This is a room that I just don't care to play properly. I didn't even actually need to do that, but oh well. Okay, the electricity is, is helping so much. Just zapping everything. Speedrun, though. Speedrun. Ah! 
Don't speed run so fast that you get hit, though. That's stupid. Snake eyes again. Yeah, like, I think maybe the, the snake eyes portal should have, like, a few more possibilities for what it could spawn. Rather than, like... I know it can spawn, like, good stuff as well, but it's, like, kind of just a few good things or enemies. I think it'd be nice if there was a few other things it could do. I don't... I'm, I'm honestly not really sure what I'm suggesting. I, I don't really know what would be best. Holy hell. I am not playing too well right now. I, I That is something I can wholeheartedly admit. That's actually pretty good because we could hopefully get a heart here. Yeah, there you go. Ah, ah, ah. Good, good. Oh, gotta be careful of that. And then this guy spawned on me as well. Sorry if I'm a bit quiet right now. I'm kind of focusing because I'm not playing too well. We're racking up our gems really quickly here as well. That, that, that one spawned a troll bomb, so fair enough. That's that, that's that's a little different. <laughs> but I think that I think the other reason that spawned a troll bomb is because it was going to give us a regular bomb and it just so happened to spawn as a troll bomb. It's kind of the way that random troll bomb spawns work. This guy's got a lot of buggers on him, but he just ain't dying. They're very strong. And there's our boss. Nice. Oh, that was close. I got really close to that guy. God damn, these tri turrets always get me. Is that not it? Oh, there's a baby flying around. Do we telefrag me? Thank God that didn't hit me. Oh, goodness. We, it was going to be so mad then. We got you in here as well. Oh, these evil eyes were a great idea. <laughs> They're just sticking so many more bugger tears on. Obviously, I'm going to keep using bombs because we can spawn ghosts and locusts. We've got quite a lot of bombs to go at as well, so why not? Stopwatch has, of course, been a huge help throughout this run. I just used my space bar by accident. That's really annoying because, like, we're right next to the, the room where I want to use it. Whoa, what the hell happened then? He didn't do his attack. I've never seen that happen before. He just failed to do his attack. Weird. So, yeah, unfortunately, we are going to have to do a few extra rooms before we can reroll if we end up wanting to because I had a dumbass and accidentally pressed space. Ooh, I think I want to take this because we've got a few familiars. That'll give us a decent start up, yeah. And then I think everything else... I kind of want to take the D4 and reroll everything to see what we end up with. I will. Do you know? I will. I think it's a good idea. Grab that. Let's just do it. Oh, wait. Yeah. We got spurred this time around. What? Excuse me. What the fuck just happened exactly? What? Um, there is no way, no way that's a coincidence. There's, there's got to be some sort of bizarre bug causing this. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. That's got to be a pretty bizarre bug. Also, like, I'm not that strong. <laughs> Like, I thought I'd be absolutely dominating, and I feel like this run's genuinely weaker than before. That's crazy, though. We got one, two, three, four. We got one, two, three, four, five, six rows of four, um, four, uh, uh planetarium items, essentially. That's too crazy for me. Oh, and there's another one. What the fuck is going on? 
Did I get lawful or something? That's not that, even that doesn't make any sense. I I really don't know what's happened here. Um That, yeah, very, very, very confusing. Ow. Oh, I, I broke my gems. I forgot to use them. Damn, stupid. You're dead. Ow. Dude, our run's kind of trash. <laughs> like, what happens when you give yourself every planetarium item? Well, not much, actually. You just kind of have a mediocre run. <laughs> it's because a lot of these planetarium items are kind of like um, utility stuff. Like, our stats are just pretty bad, generally, because we don't have any stat ups. Terra. Get the fire rate up from that. Ooh, I accidentally used Mars and opened that up. I did not mean to do that. Also, I did take Isaac's heart, I know. Bad idea, but there you go. Like that kills pretty quick. Whoa, that's a lot of ice. <laughs> ice, ice baby, pretty much. Gone, pile. Nice, y'all gone as well. Oop, extra item there. Molten Dime is pretty funny. I'll just take that. Why not? Okay. Oh my god, this is tricky. There was another item we got there. I didn't see what that was. Blast us this no. Yeah, I've got to go and ask the... Uh, the, the Discord, what's going on here. I don't think I finished this room, did I? No, I didn't. Okay, be careful. We'll be fine. The, the boss should die pretty quick, actually. Just because we can do that. Didn't actually do that much. Now we've got piercing, though, this is a lot better. This, this setup. Good, good, and there you go. What a crazy run, though. What the hell happened? Anyways, let's end it off there. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one.